Okay, so today I organized a social lunch just for five people, all Koreans, but uh, two of them, a girl and a guy, said that they can't make it. It's gonna be down to three people now, including myself, so. All right. <laughs> I hope no one else cancels. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do pull-ups and push-ups later today or step-ups and work on my legs. So, we'll see. I'll decide when I get back from lunch. Might skip legs and do pull-ups and push-ups. We'll see. Someone carved this pumpkin and left it in the middle of uh, the trail here. It's 8.30 p.m. Last time I did seven failures on each leg. Today, I'll just do five failures on each leg. I don't even want to do that, but I gotta, I did, I skipped yesterday, so I gotta do something today. I noticed that the slower I do it, the harder it is. So I guess I should do it as slowly as possible. Three more failures on each leg to go. Fuck me. It's just under 10 minutes. Well, about 10 minutes because I started the timer a bit late, so just over 10 minutes. God damn, that was actually still tough, even though I did five failures until and, and instead of seven failures. Whew. Man, I did it. I didn't want to work out again. I was full because I was snacking after late afternoon after lunch. So with a full stomach, I didn't want to work out, but because yesterday I didn't do a workout, I had to do it today, and I got a comment saying that I should at least do half the workout if I'm not gonna do f the full workout. And that makes so much sense, right? Thank you for saying that, because at least I got five failures instead of seven failures each, so it's not as much as last time, but it's still better than nothing. Way better than nothing. So thank you for that. And yeah, it seems like that's the way to go. At least do a little bit. So by the way, I'm going to be saying goodbye to my mouse that I've been using for over 10 years. I had to get it a new one because the wheel just started glitching and I have to say goodbye to this death adder. I got the same one, but it's, cheaper material this is plastic instead of matte and also it's green instead of blue i like the blue but uh same design in terms of shape and button layout so yeah used it well but i guess technology doesn't last forever so 10 years is a good time all right so today the lunch went well uh, with the three of us um i'm glad my friend Hyunsu came with because 
Otherwise, it would have been just me and Eugene, and I don't know how the conversation would have went because a lot of the conversation was both of them talking about NCT, a K-pop group, which uh, I have I I don't know much about K-pop, so they were talking about SM Entertainment and all this K-pop organization and stuff like that.、Um, so I'm glad the two of them had good conversations together, and it was it was much better as a as a Three-man team or three-person team, instead of just me and a girl or just me and my friend Hyunsu and being just two people. So three people is great for conversations and stuff. I find,、um, yeah. So the lunch went really well.、Uh, I enjoyed the lunch.、Uh, I had bulgogi again. I love the bulgogi there. It's it's a bit too sweet, but it's really good. So. Um, Jin Myeongdong Kaiguksu. If you're ever in Toronto, or at least this one's in Richmond Hill or Markham, so a bit bit north of Toronto, but Jin Myeongdong Kaiguksu, really good. Oh, I also wanted to mention the reason I'm wearing these beads on my arm. I wear these outside as well, but the reason I'm wearing these at home, and I'm trying to make them darker. If you wear these wooden beads for a long time, like I found this website where It showed the before and after everyday use of these beads between 15 months apart, and 15 months of daily use. Look at this picture; it just looks so much darker, and it looks so much nicer being darker like that. So I do notice that they're they are slowly getting darker, and so I'm trying to get them to be a darker color. That's why I'm wearing these. Wearing them every day and also putting my oil on them because I think the oil also gets them a bit darker too. So oh yeah, and I also did another stream of consciousness writing today because I watched、uh, the the same YouTuber that inspired me to do it again, Tozak.、Uh, his name is Tommy, and so I did just a page which took about ten minutes. Yeah, just writing things out. It's it's funny because the last time in my fifteenth entry, I was talking about. What can I record myself doing every single day? And I said、uh, I could do daily priority writing, walking, working out. Oh, and stream of the stream of consciousness exercise, free flow exercise, talking to the camera freely for like ten minutes.、Um, and since then, which was October twenty seventh,、uh, Friday, and today, November fourth, Saturday, which is just a week and a day later. Um, I, I kind of solved that problem. I started recording my workouts and my walks a little bit as well. So I was wondering what to do, and I ended up doing pretty much all of the things I wrote down.、Um, and this is kind of stream of consciousness thing right now with me talking into the camera, not not having a script or anything. So. Uh, yeah, what I wrote down, I ended up doing, which is pretty cool to look back on. So it is, I think, pretty cool to keep writing these. So I think I'll continue that. It's just that it takes time, and I have to make time for it. This guy Tozak talked about journaling and talked about in the morning setting an intention for the day, setting intentions for the day of what you want to get done or what you want to do, what you want to focus on, and then also journaling at night about. How do you feel? How do you feel? And reflecting on your feelings so that you can notice what caused those feelings and then adjust accordingly. So doing things that make you feel good and avoiding things that make you feel bad. So a time of reflection. And I think he journals in by pen instead of typing it on his phone or something like that. And there definitely is a difference between writing it out with pen. Versus typing it out. So,、um, doing these stream of consciousness writings on paper is, I think, it's beneficial, and I should keep doing it. So, I should make time for that as well. I also got some reading done, reading more of reality transurfing. Okay, so today got my walking done. Here's my step counter. Workout done. Legs today and social. Had a lunch, nice lunch with friends. I have to organize the next one. I'll try to find a time available for everyone next week. Also going to be playing squash next week on Wednesday, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm really bad at squash because I've only played like four times so far, 
Uh, but it's really fun. I just got my mom's old rackets restrung from the 90s, so let's see how well I can play with that. All right, really productive day, way better than yesterday. Definitely 1% better than yesterday. So gotta keep it up. 1% better every day, baby.